Somebody asked me something yesterday. Uh -oh. Somebody asked me something yesterday. And I said, we do. His name is Fred. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, you're coming to me. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah. Apparently, we got something going on. The stuff is moving up here this morning. And they're all Beautiful in stuff. Hey, man, we need some more room. What do y'all think? Yeah. Yeah. Place packed out. I, I love it. It's awesome, man. God continues to do. Y'all keep praying. And, uh, man, we got the auction coming up. And I know God's going to do great things with that. And just want to bless and uh a lot of folks are excited about what God's doing through freedom. What a great time yesterday up in Greensboro. Amen? Amen. And we had a good crowd rode up there yesterday, and uh, they had 130 some in their bikes ride from up there, and it was just absolutely a great day for Randy and them. This has been a great morning already. Amen? Amen. Now Jerry's coming. <laughs> well, it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get at Freedom Bike Church, amen? So, uh, a few months back, a few weeks back, I was asked about uh, a young couple wanting to do something, and I'm always honored to do something like this, and I think what a great morning. Uh, Floyd came and shared a little bit about the mission team. And rolling thunder, I can't wait the next man. I want to encourage you to come next Sunday, hear the stories, and begin to pray for next year. And uh, our missions team is going to be at several places this year, so get involved, get plugged in, but it'll change your life forever. Uh, and then seeing all those teenagers up here, man, wasn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. This was really cool. We got little ones back in Joppa Church. We're going to move up to our spark plugs, and then we got our spark plugs. Some of them are moving up to our. Uh, to our teens class, and so next Sunday, uh, we want to bring them out and kind of transfer them up. So uh, we'll have fun just recognizing them next week. So what an exciting, that's the future of the church, man. That back back there, I just walked through back there, it's packed. I'm telling you, man, there's no more room back there. So any of y'all big kids want to go, forget it, you can't. It's packed. Uh, Wednesday night, our trailer's packed out here. Red Duck class is packed. I mean, isn't that awesome? Uh, to see what God continues to do. And you know what's so cool for me is uh, to see what God's doing in people's lives. So a couple of weeks back, uh, I was asked about, hey, would we be able to do this? And so we were just kind of looking at where to put it in and plug it in. And I thought, you know, what's on my heart to share this morning is we're going to talk about a little bit with the message. It's going to tie these things together. Missions, graduation, our future. And then here's this couple that comes along. And uh, they're just new to be honest with you. I told John, they're just, they're rookies. But June the 1st, 2003, they said I do to each other. So 10 years later, uh, you know, Christ is uh, the center of this whole, uh, this home. And, and, and being a part of freedom has been such a huge impact. And they just wanted to celebrate with their family here uh, and renew their vows here this morning. So I thought, hey, yeah, sure, why not, huh? Right? All right. <laughs> Monica, is that for me? Okay. <laughs> so look, 10 years ago, man, on June the 1st, which was uh, yesterday, John and Hannah said, I do. And this morning, before all of you guys, they want to come in and renew their wedding vows. So I'm going to ask you as we just go through a uh, quick wedding renewal here. I mean, this has been so cool. We've had so many folks do this here. I'm talking about you guys. Well, too long ago y'all did that, uh, when folks come along and say, hey, we just want to make a test of what God's doing in our lives. So I want to ask if you would, would you stand with us as we welcome in the bride? I don't know why she's going through this again, but she is. So let's just honor her as she comes down this morning. So free. 
Saints and family, we've come here today to unite holy matrimony, Annis and John, once again after 10 years. And so the Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship with one man and one woman, freely and totally commit to each other as their gain is for life. So as you guys come together, re wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Got the wrong man. <laughs> yes, you going to be a part of this thing? Not yet. <laughs> So as we come together, we uh, celebrate. Uh, the Bible says a man shall leave his father and mother, and a woman shall leave her father and mother, and the two become as one flesh. And Ephesians 5 says, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and be joined with his wife, and they too shall be as one flesh. So as we come together this morning, is there anyone here in this congregation, I'm sure there's not, that would oppose this union? Father, marriage is always ups and downs. 
but it's an institute that was put together by you, designed by you, to glorify you. And so I thank you for John and Anna's coming this morning and for what they're doing. And we just pray continual blessings upon both of them in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. So now as we exchange vows, John, I'll ask you, according to the Word of God, Manus, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say can and has been and will continue to be used against you in the court of law <laughs> and before God, you have the right to an attorney during these proceedings, though I doubt anyone would see your way. <laughs> Do you understand your rights, John? No doubt. <laughs> so then, you intend to continue to love and cherish this young lady, honor and obey, obey, obey her. <laughs> As you've attempted to these last ten years, and do you promise to continue to use, when in doubt, the yes dear clause? <laughs> John, if you do, then I just want you to know God will honor and bless another 10 years of this union. And if I had the ability, I would declare you a saint. <laughs> what you had to put up with these last 10 years. But do you understand the warranty of this man and change is over? <laughs> I don't want to trade him in for a new model. So you can't replace limbs and stuff, you know, piece by piece. But do you promise to continue to just love this man. Amen. And we as Freedom Biker Church will keep to our motto that we'll continue to try to love hell out of you. <laughs> and I've seen both of you guys grow and we're so honored to have both y'all here to be a part of this. I'm going to ask if you'll pass that off. All right. Like child. You like that <laughs> Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys turn in and grab each other's hand, and I'm going to ask you to repeat after me, if you will. This is a passage from the book of Ruth, and it says this. Just repeat this. Entreat me not to leave you, or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. And your God. You guys, you've already made your vows. It's already been ordained by the authority of the state and by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we just pray that God will continue to bless and to keep you, that He'll continue to make His face shine upon you, and that He'll lift His countenance upon you and give you both peace in this marriage and this day for you. I know that you would like to be to say you may kiss your bride. But you've been doing it for 10 years, dude. You don't need me to tell you. <laughs> would you like to kiss your wife? <coughs> Do I have to kiss you? <laughs> 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 Pay for that. Good job. <laughs>